All right, so we've talked a lot about menus and docking and submenus and preferences, but we haven't really gotten into like, well, how do you make something in ZBrush? And we're going to dip our toe into that, but what I really want to focus on is file handling within ZBrush. And if you can get this concept, ZBrush is going to be a breeze. This is going to be the hardest part of ZBrush, and everything else is downhill from here. It's all just super fun and games. But, and this is important, if you look over here on the right-hand side, you're going to see we have a tool menu. So within ZBrush, there's a concept of a tool. And all a tool is, is an object. So if you click on this simple brush here and you start painting in your canvas, you're going to see you're just doing 2.5D brush stroke. Uh, and that's not really what we're going to be doing in this course. We'll get a little bit into canvas painting and uh, tiling textures and stuff like that later. But for now, I'm going to hit Control-N to clear my canvas. And I'm going to grab this simple brush over here. And you're going to see we have... The quick pick, so if you've ever, if you've touched anything or grabbed anything previously, that'll they'll start stacking up here. We have 3D meshes, these are primitives, and then we have 2.5D brushes, which we'll get into a bit later. Uh, underneath the 3D meshes here, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and grab a Cube 3D. And now we have that selected. So underneath the tool menu, we have Cube 3D as our active selected primitive. If we drag that out on our canvas, you're going to see if we keep dragging that out on our canvas, now we're just stacking a bunch of sh cube shapes on our canvas. And it's like, okay, well now what am I doing? Again, this video, the most important video I'm going to show you guys, once you get past this part, it's going to be so easy, but these are just a few base concepts we need to understand. So what we're basically doing is we're a, is we're kind of dragging out, and you're going to see we have the drag rect stroke selected, so we're drag rect stroking out the same object. And what it's allowing us to do is do a 2.5D capture of this object, but we're not modeling on it. It's not that helpful right now. So what I'm going to do is, again, hit Control N to clear my canvas. I'm going to take my cube that's selected. I'm going to drag it out of my canvas here. And the next thing I'm going to do is you're going to see up here at the top, we have edit, draw, move, scale, and rotate. I'm going to go, I'm going to stay in draw mode. And if I hover over this, you're going to see the draw is Q is the hotkey. If you hold down control, it'll tell you even more about that. Uh, underneath edit, you're going to see edit object, the hotkey is T. Or you can just come up here and click that button. And now we're in edit mode. So you're going to see if I click and drag on my canvas now, instead of dragging another copy or a 2.5D representation of that cube on my canvas, what I'm actually doing is able to navigate and rotate around my object. Now we're going to be getting into navigation in just a second, but for now what you can do is just take either your mouse or your tablet and just click, left click in the gray area around your object here, and now you can start rotating around this cube. So this cube is your 3D object that you can move in space. So now let's go back to file handling. We have a document right here. If you see, we go up here to document, we can save a document also underneath file. And most people coming from other 3D programs, file save as is where you're gonna do all your saving. That makes sense. However, there's a few caveats in ZBrush. You're gonna see when we hover over save as, that's gonna be saving your project as. Well, what is a project? If you hit our comma key here, you're gonna see we had a project tab and these are ZBrush demo projects, or you can make your own. Here's my little level 9000Z project that I made and stored in here from a previous hair demo I did on my live stream. But then next to project, you're going to see we have tool. So now these are Z tools. You're going to see demo soldier.ztl under project. You're going to see demo head.zpr. So ZPR is a Z project. ZTL is a Z tool. Even under the brushes, if we go in here, you're going to see a Z brush. If you click on it, you're going to see the where these things are stored. And here you see the name of this is Form Extra Soft 2. ZBP is a Z brush. And if you go down here to Document, we don't have anything stored in here, but if we go ahead and hide this light box here and we go to Document, Save As, it's going to warn you, do you want to save the document, which is just 2.5D information, or do you want to save the tool, which is our actual object over here? We'll go ahead and say Save the Document, because I just want to bring this window up. Then you see a document is a ZBR file. So, Okay, let's take let's let's back up. And again, this is the hardest part of ZBrush right here. If you can get this down, the rest of it's smooth sailing, I promise. So, to try and explain this as best I can, our document is just our working space here. It has a few more uses than that, which we'll get into. But for now, what you need to worry about is our document is essentially where we're going to be manipulating our object in space. Our tool is what we bring onto our document. We go into edit mode, and now we can start manipulating this object. Our project is our document information and our tool information. And if we have multiple tools loaded up in our space over here, or imported, if we have like a ton of imported objects, if you say, if you go up here to file, save as, and you save a project, it's going to save all of that stuff 
anything in our document, even our camera view, any material settings, any light settings, that saves all of that into one package. And that's going to be a ZPR file, Z project. If you go up here to document, save as, that's just going to save your document, your 2.5D, basically it's going to save a picture of this cube essentially, as well as any material and lighting information that you may have in your, ob in your scene here. A tool, save as, is going to save a ZTL, and that's only going to save the selected tool that you're manipulating in your viewport here. Now, I don't know if this is because I'm an old school ZBrush user, but my preference is always going over here to tool, save as, and saving Z tools out. Tools are essentially 99% of what I use in ZBrush. We're going to get a little bit fancier with lighting and rendering and materials and all sorts of other things. But while we're just modeling in ZBrush, your biggest concern is going to be this tool right here. And don't be concerned uh, as we go through and you're going to be making a lot of you know edits to this object. You're going to be painting on it. You're going to be modeling on it. You're going to be adding subtools to it. You're going to be making really, really complex objects here. If you go to Tool Save As, it's going to save everything that you have access to in this menu. Poly paint, UV information, texture information, multiple subtools. So you're saving all of that information as a tool that you can bring in later into ZBrush. And you can bring in multiple tools. And you can append tools to each other. So my preference is when I'm working in ZBrush, I have an object here and I'm working on it. I like to go to Tool Save As. Document, I don't really worry about, especially not while I'm modeling. And then I'm going to go up here to File, Save As. I don't tend to send a lot of, save a lot of projects. You're also going to see here, though, that under the File menu here, we do have Canvas. So you can save your, instead of going to Document, Save As, and you're going to see Save Document As. You can go over here to File, Canvas, Save As, and you're going to see Save Document As. Canvas, Document, same thing. Tool Mesh, Tool, Save As, Save Your Tool, Control-Shift-T. Over here, Tool, Save As, Save Tool, Save Thing. We'll get into timeline and spotlight and textures and alphas later, but you can also save these options out as well and export them. For example, if you go down here to alpha, you can import and export alphas from the file menu, or you can go up here to alpha and import and export files from there. So this is kind of like a one-stop shop for all your file operating needs, but just to simplify this for you guys, file, save as, saves a Z project, which has everything that you ever want from your ZBrush file. What I use the most is Tool Mesh, Save As, or even simpler, because I always have the tool menu open over here. If I'm working and I'm modeling and I'm making cool little mech creatures, and then I can go over here to Tool, Save As, I can save this tool, and I'm good to go. And then if you ever want to load up something, we can go to Tool, Load Tool, and let's go ahead and load this up. We'll go load up Game Demo 09. And now we have this load tool right here. And you can see this tool, if we open up, as you can see it has a little 53 next to it. We can open up Subtool, and it's got 53 subtools in here, and it's got all sorts of cool stuff we're going to talk about later. We can go up here and turn on live Booleans and see how it looks with all those Boolean operators working. And also, don't get scared that I lost anything, because just because I have this tool loaded that has all this stuff going on, we still have our Cube 3D here. It's still there. We didn't lose anything. In fact, now that we have the Cube 3D selected, oh no, where did my uh, crazy complicated object go? It's right here. All you got to do is, this is the active one that we're working on. All you got to do is click on it. Now that's our active one here, and we're good to go. And in fact, when we go to save this, we go to Tool Save As, it's only going to save your active tool. It's not going to save my cube. It's not going to save anything else that I've done during our working session here in ZBrush. It's only going to save that selected Z tool. That's It keeps things nice and organized, and that's how I prefer to work. So moving forward, that's prob you're probably going to see me mostly doing Tool Save As and Tool Load Tool. Of course, there's caveats to that, and I'll call it out when we get there. But if you got through this video and you understand now that this right here is just my document, aka my canvas, and for now what we're understanding that as is just a place for me to work with my 3D object, you now know you can have a tool that you're in edit mode and you're able to rotate around it and manipulate it, which we'll get to in a bit. And we want to, when we want to save what we've done with our active tool, we go to Tool Save As, and we save it, and we're happy, and we can load it up later, and we haven't lost anything. And now we know how to select multiple things over here in our tool palette. So if you've got that under your belt, congratulations. You've learned the hardest part of ZBrush. It's all easy from here on out. Now, introduced a little bit later is Load Tool from Project. So if we go in here and we have a tool, we go into the Tool tab with your Lightbox open, just hit the comma key and you double click the Demo Soldier, you're going to have the Demo Soldier, it's dragging on our canvas, going to edit mode. Demo Soldier is now a tool that we're working on. 
if we have the comma key and we are in the tool menu and we go in and we grab a dog, now we have a dog here, but we still have the demo soldier selectable. So we're just adding tools. If we go up here to load tool, and we're in C program files, pixel like receivers 2020 Z tools, that's actually where the light box is looking you can load up another Z tool and you can just keep adding Z tools to your current working session. However, if I hit the comma key and we go over here to the project tab and we say, I want to work on this demo anime head, I can double click it and it's going to say, your project has changed, you want to save changes. If you go, yes, it's going to save a Z project, which is going to have all these tools loaded into its own project. If you hit no, it's going to wipe out all of those Z tools and just bring in an entire project. And your project, of course, is going to have your document and your lighting and your materials and any tools you have loaded over here. Generally speaking, of course, I like to just do load and save tools, keeps things nice and easy, but there is a happy medium. So we can go in here and we get the comma key and we can go over here to tool and we can load up a dog, a demo soldier, and a polysphere. And we're just adding to this project or this working ZBrush session. However, if I want to have these available to me, but I just want to bring something else in, I now have a load tools from project. So if, again, if we go to the program files, pixel like ZBrush 2020, Z projects, I can now load any of these files, even though they're Z projects, we can say load up the demo head Z project as a tool and it'll just bring in the tools from that Z project.